Hey folks, this is Tom with uh, Action News. We are live on the cable bridge um, between Pasco and Kennewick. We're right about mid-span now. Um, I would say several dozen people, probably over a hundred because I can't really see the end of the line, are holding a march for Black Lives Matter. I guess this is on the cable bridge going from Pasco to Kennewick. It's a silent march, so you won't actually hear chanting and that sort of thing. And I'll try to zoom in on some signs in a little bit, but right now I'm just trying to keep up pace. They're not in uh, the lane of traffic, they're on the sidewalk, so it's not um, causing a problem for any motorist whatsoever. Every once in a while you'll hear a honk as people go by in support of this group. You can see the fists up in the air for some. Zoom in so you can maybe see a couple signs. Again, this is happening right now on the cable bridge between Pasco and Kennewick. These protesters are marching on the sidewalk and it's a silent march, so you won't really hear any chanting. You can see a sign there, if I can zoom in. Legalize blackness. So folks were upset about a black business owner in Kennewick being pulled over because his car matched the description of a drive-by shooting suspect. You may have seen this, we covered the story on Keeper Action News. Um, and so we talked to the person who was pulled over, he was upset, he thought the, the, the traffic stop was wrong. Um, he said police pointed their weapons at him and it was unnecessary. Uh, we talked to police about it and they said, this is protocol. In this situation, they thought he could have been a drive-by shooting suspect. And so in a situation like that, um, they need to make sure that everybody is safe, both the person that they pulled over and the officers. So they'll go through their protocol as they make sure that the stop is safe and make sure everybody is safe. So again, this is happening right now on the cable bridge. That's Highway 397 between Pasco and Kennewick. I'm gonna have to sign off because I need to get video of this as well so we can show you this for the 11 o'clock news. But you can see it's a long line. I would say well over 100 people out here for sure.